Good for yeah. him. Will yeah, tomorrow absolutely. morning be as beautiful as the last few mornings? It won't be the worst, okay. but not quite as nice. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, those days are numbered. I mean, it'll, it, tomorrow morning will basically feel like it should this time of the year. Mm. The last several mornings have been exceptionally cool. I mean, I know it's September, and I know all of our minds are already thinking about fall and all that. But really, the last couple mornings were well below normal, at least in terms of lows. I mean, no complaints by any means at all. But even for this time of the year, the last several mornings were quite cool. Let's talk about Francine, though, because it actually will influence our weather a little bit tomorrow. We have a few tropical showers or downpours possible during the day tomorrow. Here it is spinning out in the Gulf of Mexico. It became a hurricane about 7 o'clock this evening. It had been a tropical storm since yesterday. Most of today been a tropical storm, but now up to a, a category one hurricane with wind speeds of 85 miles an hour gusting to 90 at the moment. So it is starting to intensify. It's going to move almost due northeast and that puts a landfall in kind of central Louisiana coastline there south of Baton Rouge going to strengthen a little bit more winds of 90 miles an hour as it makes a landfall there. Then we'll track up through the Baton Rouge area up into Mississippi. Obviously, it'll weaken once it makes landfall in terms of the wind speed, but it will still bring a tremendous amount of rain and lots of gusty winds to portions of Louisiana and Mississippi even after landfall. So hurricane warnings stretching from Baton Rouge all the way down to the Louisiana coastline. No part of Texas, though, included in any tropical storm warnings or hurricane warnings as this storm, even though, I mean, it's not too terribly far away from like the Beaumont, Galveston, Houston area, when I show you the rainfall projections in a minute and the storm surge projections, definitely highest right where that storm's making landfall. New Orleans, two to three feet of storm surge, five to ten feet along the Louisiana coastline. But it's maybe one to three feet across the Texas coastline there, and that should be very manageable for the Texas coastline, as is the rainfall. Quarter to an inch or so in Texas. Rainfall totals really ramp up as you head into Louisiana, 8 to 12 inches, widespread 6 to 8 inches, anywhere from New Orleans to Baton Rouge up into Mississippi. For us, it's just the chance at a passing shower or storm. Nothing happens tonight, but some clouds will be around during the day tomorrow as that tropical moisture gets pushed up into North Texas. Most of the rain will stay over in Louisiana, deep East Texas, but here you go. During the heat of the day, some activity bubbles up. 20, maybe 30% coverage across the area. You find yourself underneath a tropical downpour. It rains for 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. Then that shower or storm moves on. So isolated coverage, we'll say, kind of Denton to Fort Worth to the west. Some scattered coverage from McKinney to Dallas to the east. And no severe weather or anything like that. Just a chance for some briefly heavy rain and some lightning if you find yourself underneath a thunderstorm. There's already some clouds rolling in right now. Light winds and seasonable tonight, though not nearly as cool, but it still won't be a terrible morning. 70 degrees tomorrow morning. Warm and muggier tomorrow. Not the worst ever, but you might notice the humidity being a little higher tomorrow afternoon. Thursday won't be too terrible. We'll call it seasonable, but then look what happens as we head Friday and into the weekend. 94 Friday, 98 Saturday, 97 Sunday, and staying in the 90s for the next seven of that 14-day forecast. We may even be talking about some places trying to hit that triple digit mark for the weekend as well, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. What I am going to worry about is uh, North Texas Giving Day coming up here on uh, September 19th. Santa's helpers, we would love you for you to uh, donate. Uh, just point, take out your camera phone and uh, point it at that QR code and uh, we will take any and all of your donations. We're trying to raise $10,000 between now and and uh, North Texas Giving Day. And of course, all that money goes toward uh, Santa's helpers in the uh, in December and making sure kiddos across North Texas have a great Christmas to remember.